In a previous video, I showed you how to import Open vSwitch into GNS3, and I showed you some options such as viewing the flow table of the switch and the ports available on the Open Flow switch. And I also showed you how routers connected to the Open vSwitch can ping each other because traffic is sent from the Open Flow pipeline to the traditional pipeline. What I'll do now is save the configuration of these routers and also edit the network interfaces of the Open vSwitch and uncomment these two lines, auto eth0 and i face eth0 inet dhep because I want the management interface of the switch to receive an IP address from a DHCP server. I'm going to connect the switch to my physical network. So I'll power down those devices. And what I'll do is drag a cloud to the topology. I'll run that on my local Mac. And then I'll connect Ethernet zero to the cloud. So I'm gonna bridge the open vSwitch switch to my physical network. So I'll start up these devices again and open up a console. So ifconfig eth zero. As you can see here, the interface has received an IP address. This open vSwitch switch can ping my default gateway as an example. It can ping google.com. But what it can also do is ping 192.168.1.196, which is this HPE VAN SDN controller. Now we'll demonstrate the integration between GNS3, Open vSwitch, and Open Daylight in a separate video. But to get us started, I'm going to start off with the HPE VAN SDN controller. So the HPE Vanistin controller is seeing a number of switches. This is actually Open vSwitch running within GNS3 on a separate computer. And these are four Mininet switches. But on the current Open vSwitch running in GNS3, I'm now going to type this command to get the switch to talk to the controller. Now, before I type that command, notice at the moment the switch only has one flow entry. All traffic is being pointed to the normal pipeline. In other words, the traditional routing and switching pipeline. When I press enter and we look at the flow table, you'll notice a lot of flows have been added. Now, for some reason, in this version of the HPE Vanistin controller, and this implementation of Open vSwitch, it's now added a crazy amount of open flow tables to the switch. So when I refresh the page on the controller, we can see a new switch has been added. When I click on ports, we can see the ports on the switch. So it's Ethernet 1 to Ethernet 15, plus the local interface. We can see a summary of the switch. We can see the IP address of the switch. We can see the number of tables supported. We can see that the switch is using Open vSwitch. This is a switch that was developed by Nasera. They were purchased by VMware, but Open vSwitch is now part of the Linux Foundation. There are the ports again, and here are the flows. And for some reason, it's added all these go-to statements to send flows through all the different tables on the switch. So back in GNS3, Router 1 was previously able to ping Router 2, but that's not working since the switch started talking to the controller. What I've got running on the HPE Vanistian controller is Flowmaker Deluxe. This is a application that was written 
by northbound networks in Australia. And what I'll do is add a flow entry with a priority of 1000 to table zero matching ICMP traffic. And I'm gonna send the traffic to the normal port and click save. So that flow entry has been added to the open flow table of the open flow switch running in GNS3. So I'll filter it using grep. Notice here's the flow entry. We can see that a flow entry with a priority of 1000 matching ICMP traffic is now being sent to the normal port. So now router one can ping router two and router two can ping router one. Previously, we had no packets and no bytes matching that flow entry, but notice now we have 10 packets. Do the ping again. Now we have 20 packets matching that flow entry. Back on the controller, previously we had zero matches. Now we can see the 20 packets that matched. Now I could delete these additional tables. So table one, table two, table three and so forth. But I'm simply bypassing those tables with this flow entry that I've added to table zero. I hope you found this video useful. If you enjoyed it, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.